Okay, he's got to come off, and he's going to get his ass lasered. Bye. You hack him. <laughs> oh, man. Hey guys, thank you very much for tuning in to another video. I'm your host, Red of Pride 639, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic July long weekend. Whether you're in Canada, whether then whether you're in the US, I hope you guys are having a relaxing weekend. But today we've got a really, really fun one for you. Today we've got a rather fun loadout that I think I'm gonna be taking into tournaments from here on out. Uh, the loadout is an absolute beast at long ranges, at medium ranges, at short ranges, and I'm talking about the loadout of the Farah 83 and the Milano. So uh, this particular loadout that I've got set up here, it's been an absolute beast for me. So uh, before we get into the actual loadout details and the highlights, first things first, let's get you guys subscribed to the channel and make sure that you do like the video as well. Let's get this video up to 100 likes. We're still on our way to our first thousand subscribers to the channel, so we'd absolutely appreciate it. Uh, if you tell a few friends, a few family members, make sure they come by, hit the sub button, and let's get our goals reached before the end of the year. Uh, don't forget as well, if you guys want to see all the news and updates of what's happening with my channel and my streams, be sure to follow me Follow me over on Twitter at RiderPride639. Uh, I post all the uh, goings-ons behind the scenes there, as well as any news and updates of what's happening with myself, with the channels, and with the streams. And speaking of the streams, guys, don't forget to make sure uh, that you're following me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash RiderPride639, because I go live three days a week there, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 p.m., it's 10 30 p.m. Central Standard Time, Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So before we get into the actual loadout, I'm going to show you a few clips and some highlights of my gameplay with this loadout. There he is. UAV is bingo fuel. RTP for resupply. Fuck, man. Oh, God. Holy crap, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright guys, so here is the loadout setup that I've got uh, for the Fire 83 and the Milano. So like I said, this is the this is the loadout that I'm going to be take, taking into uh, pretty much any tournament I play in uh, from here on uh, forward, basically. Uh, so starting at the bottom here, so we've got our tactical using uh, the heartbeat sensor to start off with. Uh, once I switch to a ghost class or to a restock class, uh, I will then usually switch over to stuns depending on my group setup. Um, if uh, my other teammates are playing uh, stuns or flashes, maybe I'll be the one to keep the heartbeat sensor. That's entirely up to you. Uh, for the lethals, I'm using thermites. Uh, you can use uh, frag grenades, you can use semtex. Uh, because vehicles are at such a premium as well, uh, maybe you'll want to run some C4s. Personal preference, personal choice there. Uh, for the perks, this is the first uh, loadout class, obviously, so we're going to have this as the overkill class. Uh, but I've got double time and apt for Double time just to make sure that my tax sprint uh, and my uh, crouch walk movement speed is up to snuff. Amp so I can sw uh, swap between weapons much quicker. But let's get into the actual heart of the loadout itself. So first things first. Uh, we are currently using the Vulture Exo uh, blueprint for the FAR 83. So this particular load, or the, sorry, this particular blueprint uh, was available on the Battle Pass for Season One, I believe, or Season Two. Someone correct me in the in the comments if I'm wrong on that. Uh, but in any case, here is the loadout that we got set up for. So we've got the Gru Suppressor. This is going to give us our sound suppression to keep us off the mini map, vertical recoil control extra bullet velocity and extra damage range at the cost of ADS speed, aiming stability, aim walking steadiness. So the gun isn't as steady uh, when you're aimed down sights, and as you're walking, it does sway a little bit more. 
Uh, for the barrel, we are using the 18.7 inch Spetsnaz RPK barrel. So recently they did a whole bunch of updates to the barrels uh, on the Cold War guns. So here's what we're currently looking at now. So again, we get the bullet velocity, we get the effective damage range, much like the suppressor. We get additional vertical and horizontal recoil control uh, on this particular barrel. So the, the, the recoil pattern on this is uh, was originally really, really tough to deal with. Uh, but with the suppressor, with the barrel, uh, even with the barrel nerfs uh, uh, and the Fera nerf, um, it's still relatively easy to control uh, for keyboard and mouse players. Uh, I imagine it's probably going to be the same thing on uh, on controller player, like for controller players as well. Aim assist should still uh, deal with the recoil very, very well. Again, you do lose a little bit of that aim walking movement speed. You lose hip fire accuracy. You lose some sprinting move speed. You lose a bit of ADS speed. Uh, but take you know take into account that generally, if you're going to be sprinting from place to place, you're probably going to be running with the Milano out uh, as much as possible to make sure that your movement speed is up to snuff. Uh, the axial arms three times scope. Uh, so this particular optic, uh, just really, really clean sights now that they've fixed them. Uh, as for the reticle, I forgot to put it back, but uh, for the reticle, I do have this guy here, uh, which is called Level. So it's kind of like a blue dot sight. I believe this one was, was purchased uh, from one of the bundles on the store way back in Season 1 or Season 2. Uh, for the stock, we're sticking with the stock that it gives you. That's the KGB Skeletal stock. Uh, so this gives you, uh, this recovers some of your aim walking movement speed that you lost on the barrel, uh, as well as ADS firing move speed and sprint to fire time at the cost of hip, of hip fire accuracy. So you're never going to be hip firing this gun, like almost ever. Um, the sprint to fire time is kind of nice, but the ADS uh, firing move speed and the aim walking movement speed is kind of where it's at. So this means you're going to be moving around a lot faster side to side, walking forward, walking backward uh, as you're aimed down sights. Uh, and then lastly, we've got the 60 round, just the standard 60 round mag. So we're not using uh, the, the fast mag because it has an additional ADS penalty on top of what this one already gives you. Um, the reload speed on this one is a little bit slower than some of the other assault rifles in its class. Um, but the gun is very, very accurate. It's easy to control. It hits hard. It hits accurately. Uh, this gun overall as a primary is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic gun. So second weapon that we're going to go to is the Milano SMG. This thing has been on the back burner for a long, long time uh, until recently where they finally buffed it uh, in season four. So uh, I'm not using the reactive blueprint on this one here. Uh, it is still available in the store technically, but just the attachments on it with the way I have to replace things, it just kind of kills the whole aesthetic of the gun and I just I never got around to buying it. So uh, I am using the excavator blueprint. I find this one looks pretty much the cleanest. Uh, and has a lot of the attachments that I want already there. So here is what we're using. Uh, so we are using the agency suppressor, not the sound suppressor on this one. The agency suppressor does give me uh, that little bit of extra damage range. Um, the gun is already super fast for ADS speed, so losing that little bit of ADS speed really doesn't make uh, a big difference on this particular gun. Uh, but again, same thing. I'm going to be using it for the bullet velocity, for the sound suppression, things like that. The task force barrel. Effective damage range, bullet velocity, and strafing speed. Uh, this, again, kind of helps you with that side-to-side -side movement. Uh, you do lose a little bit of vertical and horizontal recoil control. This gun is insanely easy to control to begin with, so losing that little bit of recoil uh, really doesn't penalize this gun a whole heck of a lot. Uh, third item is the Tiger Team Spotlight. So this adds additional movement speed and aim walking movement speed. So again, this is going to help with that strafing speed that you already get uh, from the barrel. Uh, so you're really going to be moving very, very fast, uh, moving from side to side while you're ADS, having the additional movement speed again. So, that, so if you need to move from cover to cover, uh, this is going to be the gun you're going to want out to, to zip from place to place without uh, being caught in the open for too long. Uh, we're using the 55 round fast mag on it. I took a gamble on this one because again, uh, the fast mags do have a, a slightly harsher ADS penalty. I don't really notice it on the Milano. So I don't know if this is just an anomaly or, or if this is just simply the penalty just isn't big enough. Um, but the reload speed being quicker is very, very helpful. And I really don't know. I really don't notice the ADS speed penalty on this gun, um, when I'm engaging in quick gunfights. Uh, last item on here is the Raider stock. So much like the KGB skeletal stock, uh, this is going to do very, very similar things. So ADS firing movement speed, aim walking movement speed, sprint to fire time. So again, this is going to help that side to side movement speed while you're walking forward while ADS. 
uh, and you are absolutely flying across the map while you're ADS'd, uh, and, you know, moving side to side, breaking aim assist, things like that. You lose a lot of hip fire accuracy, so it is advisable. Try not to hip fire this gun too much if you can avoid it. I believe the hip fire penalty on this was like either 30 or 40 percent. It's a really, really high number on uh, on the Raider stock, so uh, just be mindful of that. So you've seen some clips, you've seen the loadout. Let's show you some actual gameplay with the loadout, and let's uh, let's see how good I do with it. Okay, now we can go back. Wait, can't go in that building. Okay, I need to get to that building. Advanced UAV, we're exposed. Oh, someone went through the red door. Scavenger contract no, mark. Not that one, that one. Tagging a bounty, delay that. <laughs> bounty target is up. Let's get it done. Absolutely uh, deleted. Right, 19k. Requesting recon overflight. UAV entering the AO. Okay, he's on that building there. Let's quickly get up here. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Recon coming up. UAV entering the AO. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Indicating waypoint. I can drive. Yeah, I bet you might not have just got that car, too.
Oh, maybe not. Alright, hopefully I don't get shot again. Some people yell, I think this one laughed. Yeah, I think he did too. The only problem is I don't see him, and that's a problem. So where he's probably hiding inside. Okay. Game, hello? Coming up. Oh, he's running now. Wait, what? Oh, my dude's ghosted. We're out of time. Scrub the contract. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Why, bro? Because you were just sitting there. Recon coming up. UAV entering the AO. Uh, where'd my cluster strike go? Tagging a bounty contract. Be advised, UAV is being on Be advised, there's an enemy team hunting you. Oh, that bounty that literally just got picked up. Okay. Well, he wasn't really camping. He was trying to hide from the sniper from, like, over there. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Okay, let's... Oh, money. Oh, there's the sniper. Okay, apparently none of my shots can hit that. Thought I heard something.
Oh, we got a satchel already? Okay, good. Okay, uh, bounty over here. Is there a buy station nearby? Do I have a buy behind me? There is, it's gonna be out of the zone. Okay, somebody just crossed over that way. Okay. I think I've lost that information. I knew he was up there too. God damn it. Enemy UAV overhead. Just inbound. Okay, he's gotta come off and he's gonna get his ass lasered. Bye. He hack him. <laughs> oh man. Relocating the safe zone. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so I still got the guy behind me, seven left. So we know where the bounty is for sure. Now, the question is, is where do we cross? I think I play position rather than the bounty. I wish I could have grabbed my restock boss there. Oh yeah, for sure there's a guy hiding in here.
Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. It's on the roof. Time's up. Objective failed. Yeah. Oops, that's not a great cross either. Five others. We've got gas moving in. Five remain. Stay sharp. Okay, he's gonna have to come out. Oh, this fucking game with rocks. Okay, that screws up my plans royally. One v one. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Shit, and I don't know where he is. Is he above me? Gas is inbound. Oh no, there he is. Woo! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun with this particular loadout. I absolutely fried out uh, on a bunch of lobbies on this one here. Uh, and as you just saw here, we also managed to pull out a win in solos, which is one of the hardest things to do in this game in the current state right now. So I was really, really glad uh, that this loadout worked out as well as it did for me. So I think for the upcoming tournaments that are coming up with Z League, uh, especially with the uh, new Warzone Trios tournament that's coming up on July 19th, I think this is going to be the one I'm going to be taking in and hopefully popping some heads and grabbing some dubs while we're at it. So if you guys like what you saw here today, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel and make sure that you do drop a like on the video. Like I said, I want to get this video up to 100 likes uh, and let's get some more subscribers going. We've got, we're have we almost at our first 100 subscribers, which is a huge, huge milestone for me. I still want to work as hard as I can to get to those first thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So help me make that happen. Let's make this channel blow up a little bit more uh if you guys want to see all the news and updates of what's happening with the streams as well as the youtube videos make sure you guys are following me following me on twitter at writer price 639 uh so there you'll see all the news and happenings and stuff going on behind the scenes you also chat with me about a few other things too uh speaking of the streams though make sure you guys are also following me on twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash writer pride 639 uh where i go live three days a week tuesdays and thursdays from 6 30 p.m to 10 30 p.m central standard time and saturdays from 11 a.m to 5 p.m central standard time so with that being said that's gonna do it for me guys thank you all very very much for tuning into the video uh we've got some more death comms that are slowly uh slowly filtering in uh so chances are pretty good that's gonna be our next video we're gonna have death comms uh, volume 10 uh, which I'm super, super excited about. It's uh, That's a big milestone uh, for the channel as well with this particular series that everybody seems to love. Uh, so make sure you guys are watching for that. Uh, other than that, guys, we'll see you live. Uh, we'll see you live on the streams. We'll see you on the next video. And until next time, take care.